Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on, man? It's uh, Charles Cather, Charleston, Illinois again. Uh, I wanted to make another video, you know. I, I could not believe uh, the amount of messages and, and voices of support that I received after making my, my video, my first one, uh, my opinion of Serbia. And oh my gosh, I, I've received maybe 500 messages uh, some of the kindest people, oh my God, it blew me away. Some of the things people have said to me. I've been invited to weddings, parties, uh, you know, and just and got so much praise. I just couldn't believe it. I thought maybe 20 people would watch my video. I mainly made it for uh, my close friends in Serbia, but, you know, oh man, I, I really, really appreciate that. That says a lot about your, uh, you know, the character of the Serbian people. And uh, there was another young lady from uh, Florida you know, that, that saw my video and uh, she made the same thing. So I thought it was just great, you know. I mean, it's uh, good to start something positive, you know, about a, a group of people that, you know, that mean a lot to me. Uh, some, some of the questions I got, I wanted to answer some of the questions. Uh, some of the people asked some of the things I liked the most about Serbia. They said, why Serbia? Why, why is it so amazing, you know? And, you know, something I didn't state, I, I've, I've traveled to nine countries. I've been to Australia a couple times, New Zealand, Costa Rica, Canada, Mexico, France, uh, and, and my favorite out of all of them by far was Serbia. Uh, Serbia was so different culturally and uh, geographically, I, I guess, what would you say, uh, like aesthetically, like look-wise, you know, I mean, the, here, here in the state of Illinois, where I live, it's very flat. Uh, you know, there's trees. It's a nice looking place, but in Serbia, it was very mountainous. It was, uh, you know, you had a lot of mountains, lots of trees, lots of streams and lakes, and, uh, you know, it was just absolutely beautiful. And the homes, you know, so that, was, that was something very unique that I, that I thought was, that was great, was the homes. Uh, a lot of the homes in Serbia, a lot of the, the mothers and fathers and grandparents and children all live in one home. You know, so it seems like the, the, your home life is a lot more uh, tight-knit. You're a lot closer families, uh, you know, which I thought was great. And also, uh, in some of the towns that I visited, like in Pirat and uh, Nish and uh, uh, Elamir, a lot of the homes even in the cities would have like a cow, maybe a couple chickens, um, you know, raise their own garden, you know, have their own garden, their own food. So, I mean, the people are more self-sufficient. In the United States here, not to put us down, but, you know, usually if our electricity is out for a couple days, everybody's panicking. Oh, my God, what are we going to do, you know? In Serbia, it'd be like, hey, if your electricity is off, maybe for a month you could still cope, you know? You could still survive and, and not panic, you know? Uh, so that, that, that's some of the things. You know, I thought family structure was fantastic. Just the look of the place is, is just beautiful. Uh, one quick story, uh, another reason why Serbia is so dear to me, is when I was in, uh, I took a bus from Pirat to Belgrade, and I was going to connect from Belgrade to Zrinjanin. And uh, whenever I got to Belgrade at the bus station, I was all by myself. I don't speak Serbian. Govorom malo srpski. But uh, I got to the bus station, I went. I got off the bus with my bags. I went to the uh, ticket window to purchase a ticket to Zrinjanin. Look around. No wallet. My cell phone. My cell phone and my wallet were gone. I was. Oh my God. I was freaking out. I, you know. I was terrified. I'm in the middle of Belgrade. No cell phone. I didn't have my friends' numbers in Zrinjanin. You know. I didn't know how to call on a back to the United States to try to get some money. I had my everything but my passport was missing. So anyway walking along the street and there was a, a gentleman and a uh, young lady, he was maybe 20, 20 years old, and I went up to him and I said, hey, I said, Govorb uh, Ingleski? And he said, yeah, yeah, I speak English. And I said, oh, God. I said, could you please help me? I said, I don't know what to do. I said, I'm, I'm an American. I've lost my wallet. I've lost my cell phone. Um, make a long story short, the guy was one of the nicest people I'd ever met in my entire life. Uh, he said, sure. He went and purchased me a phone card so I could go and call my, my father back home. He dialed the number for me because I had no idea it was all in Serbian when I picked up the phone. My father sent me money. The kid missed his next bus, him and his girlfriend. They carried my bags for me, maybe three or four blocks to this Western Union station. Went into the Western Union, explained to them, helped me fill out the paperwork, sat with me until it was completed, until I had my money. And then uh, I told him, I said, hey man, you missed your I, I want to you know, give you some money as a token of my appreciation. No, I will not take money. Wouldn't take money, you know, and I, I just couldn't believe it. You know, I gave him a hug. I said, man, you, you don't know 
how much you've touched me. I said, I was terrified. I'm here in a, a city that supposedly people don't like me. I don't speak the language. I don't have money. I don't have my phone, you know. Guy, just wonderful. He said he likes to help people, you know. And that says a lot, you know. And uh, so that meant a lot to me. And, and the families, like in, uh, in Elamir and in Pirat, you know, I, I'd never been, you know, a lot of the families, uh, they didn't have a lot of money. But everybody, w when I sat down to eat at their homes, here in the U.S., a lot of times we'll have maybe a soup or a, a steak, you know. But in Serbia, oh my God, first of all, they brought me some soup. And I thought, oh, this is our food, you know, and I ate a couple bowls of soup. Then they clear it and bring something else. Eat that, then it's more and more and more. I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? You know, just unbelievable. The people, they're not wealthy, but they are, they would give, give anything they had to, to anybody. I mean, it was very, you know, very touching, you know. Great people, man. And, uh, you know, I, like I said, a lot of you have asked when I'm returning. I, I fly back into Serbia on July 6th at 2 p.m. So I fly into Nikola Tesla Airport. And then my best buddy uh, from, uh, he lives in Echka. His name's Dian. Dian, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't even say his last name. It's got that J and that L together. Manoljevic. I think I, I don't, I'm terrible with the names. Forgive me. But he's going to pick me up, and we're going to Echka. And then we're going to um, Navi side to the exit fest. So I'm really pumped up. And, uh, you know, once again, uh, I, I plan, if anybody could help me, I, I, I'm looking for a school. I, I've, I've taught for one year in Mexico, as I explained last time. I teach uh, six-year-olds all the way to 40-year-olds, uh, basic English to advanced English. And I'm really looking for a school in Serbia. I, I, I want to stay in Serbia for six months or maybe a year. I mean, maybe longer. I don't know. So if any of you know of any schools or, or you know, any, any, any way you could help me out with that, I'd greatly appreciate it. I was offered a position in Albania and uh, Tirana, and I just, I don't know if I want to do that yet. So any help you could give me would be fantastic. Uh, once again, guys, thank you so much, man, for, the, for all the nice messages. It means a lot to me, you know. I'd like to meet every single one of you and have a beer with you, you know. We should do that, so... Um, like I said, I arrived July 6th. I'll be on Facebook still, so if you haven't added me, add me on Facebook, and maybe we can meet up sometime and have a drink. So, um, And if you guys ever want to come to the United States, I'd love to show you around, show you the beautiful state of Illinois. We've got a ton of Serbs here, anyway, in Chicago. So, you know, you wouldn't be... Uh, you wouldn't be lonely. So anyway, once again, guys, thanks a bunch, man. It's been an absolute pleasure to, to meet all these great people, and I hope to see you very soon. So thanks again. Havala lipo. Adio, uh, I'll say adios. That's, that's Spanish, isn't it? Um, Zdravo. Is that right? All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.